Today's video is designed for SOLIDWORKS Intermediates. This will be a mechanical part modeling and the main content I want you to learn from this tutorial is how to work smart to save more time. Because there are two main ways you could model this, but it is very important you take the correct path. As always, the download link to the drawing sheet is in the description below. So this is the drawing that we are going to create today. The component is rather easy. It's not completely easy for beginners, but it's definitely for lower intermediates. So you can be sure if you follow this drawing, this is all you need to finish this component, fully define it and apply the material to it. There is a special feature about this component that you are seeing, and that is this arm that you see over here. We have one arm on this side and there is another arm here. The orientation of the arms are different and they key tip that I want you to learn from this video is to learn how to save time by duplicating one arm without having to recreate it again because you're gonna have to use the exact same dimension so this is the component after you finish it you see this arm is connected to the side of the cylinder and this one is connected from face to face so from this face to this face and let's go and create it from scratch. So as always, I would like to start off by drawing on the front plane. And as a habit that I have built for myself, I would always place one of the main circles that I see in a drawing on the coordinate system. So in this case, I'm gonna place the center of the circle on the coordinate system here. The outer diameter 25, inner diameter 18. So let's just quickly assign a smart dimension to that. So 25 and 18 just like a drawing. We continue by drawing this arm on the bottom. First thing first, I'm gonna have to draw the outer frames. I'm gonna ignore these two. I'm gonna draw this over here, this hammer head, and then apply the dimensions after that. So the best way I can think of is to draw a center rectangle or just a corner rectangle would do from here to here. Then we're gonna have to place this corner on this circumference of the circle. So it would be symmetrical and right click midpoint hold control, select coordinate system, and place a vertical relation to them. So it's definitely now uh, symmetrical. Then another rectangle on the bottom to create this hammerhead. I just exaggerated a little bit so I have room to select the midpoint, hold the control key, select this and make it go vertical. I'm gonna use trim entities check keep trim entities as construction geometry because we don't want to lose that mid plane relation that we just adjusted and op open this now let's just assign some dimensions to it the thickness is five the thickness is five and the distance from here to here is defined over here 25 so 5 5 25 for now this is five this is also five uh, we need a distance for the length of the uh, here and we also said 25 so let's just do this first 25 all right so we lost the relation because we cut this line you're gonna have to reassign it right click mid plane this time on this entity vertical now we need to assign the length for this entity over here so I'm gonna bring back the drawing we see the whole length is 73.5 25 is here, another 25 is there, so 50, 23.5 will be left for this straight section that we have over here. So I'm gonna assign 23.5 and leave it like that. It is fully defined. Use trim entities to open this because we're gonna extrude everything at once. The extrusion length is defined uh, at some point around the extrusion length. Let's see where we see that. I don't see it here. Oh, I'm missing this drawing. 15. So I'm gonna go to boss extrude, set it to mid plane. I would like to do that on mid plane and click OK. I'm gonna have to go back, change the drawing a little bit, change this back to normal line, same as this one. We don't wanna check for construction and rebuild this to face the error. Of course, we're gonna face the error, exit sketch and rebuild anyway. Don't worry about it and I will fix it. Now I know where the problem is. It doesn't know which of these two or more contours to select. First one, I'm gonna select this and not the edge, this area, the small area, and click OK. Now we only have one solid body. We continue, select the sketch again, click on extruded boss again, and this time we select the hammer, and I would like to select this small area again. 
but if I just click OK I did nothing special I'll just repeated everything instead I'm gonna uncheck merge result when I do that and click OK I will create a new solid body look I have two one here and one here these are not merged into one solid body there these are two I can hide one of them for example time to add the rest of the components that are um, suppressed there is an issue here so I'm going to delete the sketch and start it again it was a quick drawing so I'm gonna do it again line line arc and line these two are tangential these two are tangential a circle in the middle with a diameter of five and we said here to here is 25 so again quickly we need two offset two flip flip and we're going to have it merge only to this component not to all so make sure to uncheck auto select and only select this hammerhead click ok again right plane mirror this feature and ok now we have two solid bodies one here one the cylinder now knowing that my two arms have the same exact dimensions and length I'm going to duplicate this only by moving it to the side so my plan is to use move copy bodies which is something you can also type here and find the feature activate rotate select an axis of rotation so since I don't have any axis here I'm gonna go here and activate the temporary axis select it and now as the solid body I'm gonna pick this one so first thing first I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and check copy because I need two first of all this is still not correct because if you look at the drawing this one has to rotate another 90 degrees along a different axis again I'm going to use move copy body select it this time uncheck it because I don't want to duplicate it and rotate it like this to 90 degrees here we see around X click OK okay so it's obvious that we cannot continue because of two reasons first of all we have cavities here and second of all when I bring the drawing back I see the distance here is 73.5 73.5 let's just double check I'm gonna make it normal to the screen just to measure the distance from here to here activate the drawing and draw a line from here to here this line should be 73.5 it's 73.25 so we are short 0.25 the right way to do it is to move this to the right go to translate move it um, along x or minus x in this case minus 0.25 to the right it moved we see that and now we click ok so it is 73.5 but for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna show it to you draw another line and this must be 73.5 that's fine last thing left is to connect these two together so I'm gonna select this surface activate the sketch on it and while it's highlighted I'm going to select convert entities to turn the edges around this rectangle into drawing and then extrude it into the body of the cylinder and since I don't know how much I have to go in I am going to select up to surface and pick this surface here so I don't care how much it goes as much as it reaches the inner surface and it stops now we can say merge all bodies that's fine we will end up having two bodies two components one this one and one this one and these two also can be combined into one click ok we have a one solid body if you are like me you want to deactivate the temporary axis and one last point on the drawing or one of the last points all edges are rounded with a radius of one so you go to fillet and you select one edge and you select the other edge first of all you change it into one then go ahead to change another one until you get this menu select the very last option which picks every single edge and the ones that are left I can easily select manually quickly um, this one and this one I think everything is selected if not we could always select it later in a separate feature features but I think we're good click OK we have the component ready every edge okay I see a fillet rounded edges on every edge the material according to the drawing is still AIS, AISI 1020 which you can easily find here AISI 1020 apply 
close in case you want to double check if you created the component correctly and make sure you did it exactly like me go to evaluate click on mass properties and read your mass if you get 100 grams plus minus one percent you did it right if not try to find out where you made the mistake and let's go out if you want to learn how to approach a design and plan it in your head first because this is something you have to do you could get loads of value from my new solidworks course this is an exclusive program designed for solidworks beginners to help them get certified as cswa or cswp if you don't know what those are they are certified solidworks associate and certified solidworks professional having those licenses will increase your chances of standing out from the crowd of SOLIDWORKS users and landing your dream job enormously. On top of the course material you will get, there are various bonuses that come along with the course, some free PDF tutorials, access to my library of 100 plus tutorials, which I have prepared over the past two and a half years. And to mention that I personally will answer your individual questions. If you're not sure about it, don't worry, just watch the free webinar with no strings attached. And if you decide to look away after that, at least, at least you gain a bunch of useful and practical tips for SOLIDWORKS for that. At the end, I would like to thank you for supporting my channel by watching my videos. You are making this channel great. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and you will gradually increase your knowledge through every video. I'm Ryan and I will see you next week.